In addition to our team of meteorologists, we also have team coverage out in the field this morning covering you from both Georgia and the Low Country. And we want to start on Georgia's coast. Shea Schrader is live on Tybee Island. We're already seeing it on the radar map. Shade conditions starting to deteriorate a little bit out there. Yeah, Kyle, you're absolutely right. This island, it's starting to wake up. Even in about the five seconds before I came on air just now, it is starting to sprinkle. Our photog has run off to get rain gear ready to protect our equipment. It's been lightninging out here for about the last hour and a half that I've been here. But yeah, this is the first that I've seen of the rain. There are also people on this island waking up, you know, around 426, uh, excuse me, 526, about 10 minutes ago. Everybody's phone started going off with that alert that uh, we are now under a hurricane warning. I'm standing right outside a hotel. People are coming out onto their balconies, taking a look at the water, seeing what's going on. But it was a very ominous sound from what's been kind of a quiet morning here on Tybee Island so far. So we do know that, uh, again, people are waking up. They're going to start waking up to rain. The wind is definitely picking up here a little bit, so it's starting to feel a little bit more like those tropical conditions that we know are coming in. It's, it's nothing crazy right now. I do want to reiterate that. It is just a light rain, but we are going to stay out here monitoring that all day long. We do know that officials are asking people to make your preparations now instead of later, but it looks like things are probably starting to move in. So if you haven't gotten those portable battery chargers, if you haven't gotten a supply of water if you haven't done those things now is the time to do it if you haven't already done it for now i am going to send it back to the studio live on tidy island shay schrader wtoc news